In This is the President, you play America's newly elected Commander-in-Chief, who wants to amend the Constitution to secure a lifetime of political immunity. To achieve such a daunting task, you'll need to hack the political system of the United States government and make them all dance to your tune. Today, we'll take a closer look at one of the steps of our plan, getting the Supreme Court on our side to initiate a popular vote for the amendment. Right now, we're one vote short, and the good men and women of the Supreme Court tend to be the stubborn type that rarely change their minds. That means we'll need to appoint our own puppet, I mean, judicial appointee, to be absolutely safe. To do that, one of the current judges will have to retire one way or another. We've already met a couple of potential targets. Justice Robert Vasquez is well into his 80s, but he's in excellent shape and believes that it's his duty to serve his country as long as he's physically able. Justice Angela Fuqua is a punchy overachiever who went to law school with the First Lady. There's not a soul in politics who doesn't have something to hide. And all that means for us is that one of our new friends will almost certainly have a secret that can be used against them. Let's see what we've got here. Angela was a wild child back in college, and we know she visits a therapist. I bet her personal file would make a very interesting read. We'll need a hacker for this one. So let's send Ollie. It's impossible to overestimate his experience in this kind of business. Vasquez jogs every morning, but is he as healthy as he makes it seem? Let's follow him during his workout routine and find out. Our bodyguard, Alvaro, should be able to keep up with an old man. Well, well. Our suspicions turned out to be correct in both cases. Angela is a dry alcoholic, and Vasquez relies on his heart medication. It looks like he'll be the easier target. His wife assured us that he'll retire as soon as his body starts to fail him, and it's unlikely that an old man having a heart attack would arouse any suspicion. Vasquez is about to run another marathon to prove to himself how unbreakable he is. But something tells me that a triple dose of Sotilol will ensure that this marathon will be his last. For such a delicate job, we need someone who can slip into his house, and Holly Shope seems to be a great candidate. Unfortunately, she requires a serious upfront payment before joining our team, and our charity fund has become severely depleted over the past months. So it's time to check out what we can offer to the black market. Ah, Chinese secrets. Perfect. Now we're good to go. Welcome aboard, Holly. That old zinger Vasquez never touches alcohol and doesn't leave his house without having a big glass of milk first. So the choice is pretty obvious here. Of course, this stubborn fool kept running even after feeling pain in his chest and collapsed in the park. But it seems like there's no one around to help him and isn't that just his luck? Holly's not been trained in first aid. Luckily, Alvaro is. So Vasquez still has a few more years in him. Not as a Supreme Court justice though. In case you didn't know, giving mouth to mouth to an old man can cause even the toughest guys a lot of stress. Alvaro is completely burned out by the end of this mission, but no worries. We'll send him to a Hawaiian resort for some R&R, &R, but mainly so we can get him back to work. Vasquez announces his retirement while still on an IV drip. His wife thanks us for our support, and we nominate the ever-famous lawyer Mena Humani to the newly vacant seat. The journalists seem to be particularly pleased with our choice. Well, isn't this a happy ending? But what if we did all of that a bit differently? <laughs> Let's take both Vasquez and Angela out of the picture and make two Supreme Court nominations to be absolutely sure of our success. Since this go around may lead to a criminal investigation, we won't sneak into Vasquez's house. We don't want to risk leaving any traces there. We'll make him take a triple dose of medicine himself. Why wouldn't he? When a computer-generated voice of his doctor tells him that he needs to up his dose. For such a high-tech job, we need Amira Usmani, a world-renowned digital security specialist. Our presidency is pretty popular at the moment, but Amira doesn't seem to be impressed. She'll only join our team if we reach an 85% approval rating. Good thing we have a bill designed to combat gaming addiction that needs to be signed. Things like that are guaranteed to bring you a few new fans. 
There's no doubt that Amira will get the job done, but we have to make sure no one will be around to help Vasquez when he collapses. So let's send Jacobo with her. His cold-bloodedness is exactly what we need in a situation like this. Done. Vasquez swallows a handful of pills while still on the phone, and of course he collapses during the marathon. Why don't we just wait a while in the shadows just to make sure he really dies? After all, he's 88. Do we really need to grieve for someone at that age? Angela's death will be far more tragic. We'll need to encourage her to binge drink, which sounds nearly impossible as she seems to have everything in her life under such tight control. But it's all just a fragile facade. We know that she told her therapist that she keeps dreaming about circumstances overwhelming her. In America, dreams really do come true. To deal with such sensitive information, we'll send a popular blogger, Sophie, and a journalist, Troy. We could try manipulating Angela little by little through articles she reads, but we need a much faster and much more reliable option. Go to her AA meeting and pour whiskey into her coffee? Hm, might just work. But Troy is a writer. He has zero field experience. Sophie, on the other hand, is a social media influencer. She can easily convince Angela's favorite cafe to hold an Irish coffee event to boost sales. Of course, poor Angela couldn't resist, and many years of therapy and hard work were gone in a flash. She drives into a ditch on her way to work, and now two seats on the Supreme Court are vacant. Let's remind our Twitter followers that alcohol is never a solution. Oh, this is a bit unfortunate. Joanna Rizzuto, a journalist and Angela's friend, suspects that we might have been involved in her death, and even claims to have proof. Looks like we need to silence her somehow. But that's a completely different story.